Hello everybody and Kalos here to a brand new episode. I'm Bobby Fly and today we are playing the third scenario from the open dev of Humankind. It's time to try out the Hold the Fort scenario and I'm so excited to find out what's in it for us. So it's supposed to be a siege. So it's a, not, not just a siege but an entire assault from a united front. Uh, according to the scenario, we play as the English versus the Aztecs and Khmer empires. So basically it's an alliance against us and this is a, a totally fictional scenario. It's, not in, it's just inspired by real historical elements but in a fictionalized event. This has never taken place, however, it paints a, a, a pretty clear picture how consistent and how impressive the uh, playing humankind will be. I was totally shocked and taken aback by the level of detail um, in both the strategical and, um, and uh, civilization building playstyles. I really liked it to be honest with you and I'm definitely onto the hype train right now and I want to play the game as soon as possible. Um, what's more, Amplitude Studios has also given us people that have chosen uh, for the open dev uh, quite interesting scenarios to play with. So it ha this has actually uh, spurred our interest for the game. And what's more, we're also sharing these with you, and we're we are spreading the the love for the game. So let's start. It's called Hold the Fort. What if the Aztecs and the Khmer knew each other? What if they shared years of peace, trade and diplomatic treaties? What if they had decided to join their forces to conquer Europe? What if only the English stood between them and victory? The Aztec Khmer forces approach, defend the city until your overseas armies return for England. The objective is to survive as long as we can, eliminating the enemy when the opportunity arises. So expect to um, face a multitude of battles in this game. First of all, let me just fix this sound, because I think that it's a bit high. Uh, I think it's going to be good right now, so let's carry on, let's resume. So what do we have right now? Uh, we have four different provinces. For, uh, uh, four different territories actually so we've got this one here this one with an out with an outpost this one with an outpost as well and we've got this big territory that um, includes two different territories into one and this is where Londonia is actually placed so first of all do you see these armies here these are the Khmer the Aztec armies consisting of two Jaguar warriors and they're pretty good at fight they're melee and they've got fervor they get no strength penalty from damage so we need to meet them to, f to fight them as soon as possible we're already in the process of actually building a third archer right now we have just two uh, however we do have cavalry and the cavalry can move six it can reach up to here but it cannot uh, uh, engage right now so let's move the cavalry let's make sure that our archers are well defended in that before we engage in combat the level of detail is quite high so that's why you see that my screen might freeze sometimes um, but I've already ordered new PC for humankind so this is <laughs> this is well expected and here on the other side we got we got the uh, the Khmer, yes. So they their army consists of two great swordsmen, which is supposed to be okay because they have th 35 strength and they're just a melee unit. Why, whereas we have pikemen and two archers. So the the question is, do we want to meet them right now? I think so. Uh, by the way, in Oxenford, we're building the third archer for our fight so let's meet them head on with a pikeman cool so do you see that the um, that the area reaches up to here this means that if I select the archers and move them in 
they're gonna be involved in the fight, which is good actually, right? So, okay, let's confirm the battle. Yes, let's do this. Well, we're gonna lose quite a lot of hit points, but to be honest with you, I would, uh, I really want to actually be done with a second unit, so... Now we do have a pro... well, we don't have a problem, but we lost a, a Spearman and let the Khmer play, yeah. Did he... <laughs> Did he escape or something? We did lose a unit though, and we don't want to do that, to suffer that all the time. So, uh, before I proceed with the turns and everything, let's check on the English. So, here you see that the English are on the third era, and this is their ability the vassal's labor, plus three on industry on farmer's quarter, which is quite thematical, so you want to have many farmer's quarters, and whether you believe it or not, the English are agrarian, and their gameplay orientation is focused on empire growth and population abundance, and in some cases resource efficiency. Gains access to two unique actions, Mother's Milk, that creates one population per territory in all of your cities, and Land of Plenty, uh, that attracts one population for each adjacent territory in an opponent city. These actions can be triggered once the meter is full, the gauge is filled according to your surplus of food, so you want to invest in farmers. And they have a stronghold, um, the stronghold is uh, the source of exploitation that replaces the castle, and this is a, um, the, the stronghold is a spawn for the land units and is fortified. What's more, all um, all units with range attacks have their range increased by two when standing in it. So the longbowmen would actually would practically have a range of six, which is impeccable. Um, however, it works for opponents if they manage to capture the stronghold. So we always want we would always want to keep a guard on our stronghold. So let's see, do we have any strongholds here? So I think that this is one. Let's look it up close here. So this is a stronghold and the English were quite famous for their strongholds, for their big castles. Uh, okay, so we definitely want the archers to be placed there, but they do have they don't have any movement available. Okay, neither does this regiment have any movement. Do we have any other strongholds here? It doesn't look like we do. And we do have one here that's in Londonia. Uh, and we do have one over there. So as soon as we click on the city screen, you see that there are two spawn points here. And we get to choose whether we want this to be the primary spawn point or that one. So. Personally speaking, I pretty much prefer to actually have that spawn point there because I want to be able to defend both Londonia and Oxenford as soon as possible. Now, before I do that, do I want to um, attach this uh, outpost here to Londonia? I'm just wondering. We've got a 57... 57 stability, it's supposed to be under control, but it gets reduced from, it will get reduced from 57 to 30, which is the bare minimum. So we might not want to, to attach that province, because by attaching it, we're gonna suffer a huge stability loss right now. And, okay, let's, let, let's see something. So, we might want to actually invest in growth more. So if we increase that to 51, we're gonna get an exorbitant good um, increase. So let's let's see, if we move one over here, this is gonna be reduced, but we're still gonna get a 44 of growth. What if we get more? 49, and what about this one? So this increases them to three. Mm, yeah, it's not good, but okay. So we're gonna be losing six money if we do that. However, we're gonna get a, a super growth. Super growth actually helps us because it's gonna increase our population and it's also gonna boost the surplus of our um, of our uh, empire's ability, which is 
pretty much good, pre pretty needed, right? We do lack in scientists and merchants and people in the industry, but it's gonna be okay for now. We definitely need one in stability, because um, this is the, the bare maximum, so we want to keep that for sure. What about Oxenford? Okay, so in Oxenford, o Oxenford, I'm not familiar with that name, to be honest with you. So we are building a longbowman, but we do have a problem with people. We just have one person here. We might need the booming thing, the mother's milk, because it's going to add a number of population equal to the number of territories owned by the city. Right now, Oxenford just has its own territory. I don't think it, it's going to have more. However, it has 65 of public order, which is great. It will. It is bound to increase at re until it reaches 87. And I think that we can take that massive um, boost if we actually attach this province to the English Empire. So let's do it. Yeah. We've just attached this. So we've increased our, our uh, output which is perfect it, it has also given us um, it has also spared us just one turn for the longbowman which is great everything is under control here it's bound to be 65 we're not losing anything which is music to my ears because public order is just a bitch sometimes if I move the growth over here uh, yeah we're still growing so what if I move to science it's gonna cut one turn short from the heavy infantry that we are researching which is gonna be a nice way to actually check what are the technologies so the technologies on the third era are so do you, you remember that right from the previous um, scenarios so you do remember the siege tactics and the imperial power this was the end from Babylon and then we could m we can move to feudalism and feudalism offers it's not available for this build but anyway it offers plus one food and exploitation it must be something and it has peasants as well it offers peasants longbowmen and pikemen which is the main way to actually wage combat in the medieval era as well as chivalry by giving us the chance to build a hamlet and tourney fields that modifies the production cost of the, our units by 5% and it also enables us to build knights. However, if we proceed with war summons, we can get the great swordsmen by having heavy infantry and we can also build forts by military architecture and trebuchets for the sieges and later on it's going to be furnace steel giving us the chance to get the high furnace which is a level three the maximum plus one industry and market okay so and armory that offers veterancy level for militia units at the cost of three iron it all, all these technologies are quite good and as you have seen these are all military technologies because that is the um, scenarios nature um, in the normal game it will have much more um, sciences to play with and choose from so don't be um, don't be sad don't feel as if the game has nothing to offer because it has quite so many thing, things to show us in the foreseeable future so I wonder do I want to engage them right now do you know what I'm gonna do this I'm going to do this from here. And what's more, we're also going to use our knights for that. Which is good. Confirm the battle. We're going to we're going to skewer them with our arrows. So, let's have one military here, <clears throat> the other military there, the other military right here. Oh, wait a minute. What if do you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna have one knight here, the other knight possibly, ah, uh, it's not in my deployment zone, I don't want to deploy on the river, do I want to deploy there? Yes, and here I'm gonna have the archers, and, oh, you know, screw that, let's do this, let's have the uh, the other knights there, 
and the longbowmen here. The reason that I want to occupy this place with the longbowmen is that it's got, it is a stronghold and the stronghold increases the range of my longbowmen by two to a maximum of six. Just look at that. That sweet thing, right? I know. So let's end our deployment then let's start playing. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, we don't mind attacking from the low ground here because we have so many bonuses that our strength ends up being much higher than the rest. The reason that I'm not using the archers is that I really want to scout this area with the other knight here. Okay, and if I find a unit, I'm gonna use the, the other archers to just deal with it. You know what? I'm gonna move over there and try to capture this. Ah, yeah, our our goal is to actually capture their flag, so let's do it. Hmm. Cool. No, I'm gonna use these archers to kill the Jaguar warriors. They're gonna suffer a devastating hit. That wasn't wise, dear Astex. Just bring me something much more, much more potent next time. So I think I'm good. Let's end our turn and see how my opponents will react. Oh, there is some sort of movement down there. Oh, it's cavalry. Khmer cavalry. Okay, what about the rest? Nothing, is that it? Okay, I think they are, the rest are actually bracing for a bigger thing. So, ah, uh, it's a regiment of knights. Will I be able to engage them with my pikemen? But I definitely need this here. So I think I'm going to move my knights back over there. And on the next turn, I'm going to try to engage these people wherever they move. Uh, but before I do that, I'll need to occupy this place here. Is this? I think this is a higher ground than this one for sure. And in that way, I might be able to deter. Yeah, I might be able to deter the knights from attacking me. However, if they if they stay around here somewhere. I'm going to be able to engage them in the foreseeable future using both my knights and my longbowmen as a backup. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the longbowmen here to heal. I don't want to spend precious money right now. Um, and we do have just one turn before anything else happens. So, yeah, everything is good. I wonder, do we want to actually cut off some forests? I'm just wondering, I, I really don't know. If that happens, then we'll be boosting our production one way. But right now, I don't want to move out of the stronghold, so no, it's not a thing. So, skip, skip, and end our turn. The game ends in 17 turns, and it's quite long. Whoa, 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 it, there is quite a good deal of movement over here. So you see, the cavalry, pledged and uh, the, the cavalry assaulted us and they're now sieging Londonia in a laughable siege and what's more the Aztecs have moved their two their two crossbowmen against us and their Aztec warriors as well so I think that how how, how are they called oh well I can't click twice on them say so, okay <laughs> okay, first of all, let's finish with that siege. It's really a laughable kind. So we either endure at the cost of stability and later on, turn by turn, we're gonna be losing peasants. So in five turns, we're gonna lose one peasant. Or we just perform a sortie. Sortie, how is it called? I don't know. And right now we're gonna do this and try to counterattack. Confirm battle. Yes, everyone's gonna be used. So it's it's us against two archers, right? 
but do you remember the peasants from the uh, previous scenario where we played the Vikings against the, the Franks and the Franks had a good deal of peasants against us. That's what you get in the medieval ages when, um, when you find yourself in a siege. If you are the besieged city, you have some peasants that get their weapons to fight against the intruder. The peasants are quite, uh, are quite weak. Uh, compared to the technology and power of that particular era so they have 27 of strength it's the lowest I think and they have the home guard they appear automatically to defend our cities they're a melee unit they move four and that's it however they are good fodder <laughs> because you you don't pay for them you just you know have them okay uh, Okay, and do I want to end the deployment? I think so. I'm gonna get this one over here and that one over there because I want to guard my places here. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't choose a unit from there because both of these are gonna will be reinforcing my uh, position. So end the deployment. I'm not 100% sure. I still haven't got the hang of the. Um, interface here but I'm willing to learn and I'm gonna learn and as soon as the game gets out I'm gonna place I'm gonna have so many playthroughs for you to enjoy and we're gonna discover the game together and we're gonna have so much fun oh it's worth mentioning that we find ourselves between two uh, magnificent wonders so two nature natural wonders I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it in a bit as soon as we're done with the combat. Okay, let's finish this once and for all. Truth be told, it's gonna be okay. They're gonna heal themselves just fine throughout the rounds. I don't mind. Hmm, because I don't want them to be fighting together conjoined. I don't like it. Okay, so, oh, it looks like we have an archer here. I think that the archer should move over there to the other unit later on. But right now we need to, be, to build something in Londonia. We are losing public order rapidly and we need to actually um, ensure that uh, we keep it up. Right now we can build a commons quarter and so many things as you see here. But let's use the filter. Let's say that we need stability and we need stability as soon as possible. So we have these three, um, these three choices. We can build an aqueduct and have plus two stability per number of territories. Right now our territories here are two, so we're gonna have a plus four. And it takes five turns to be built. This one, the hamlet, it just, uh, it needs quite a lot of time. I'm reluctant to actually go for that right now. And common quarter it needs eight rounds. And if we do that, then we're gonna get a shitload of stability. So let's try this out. The game suggests that we place that over here for 26. So who am I to object? Let's build Londonia and let's expand it by building a common quarter. And I don't think that we have actually a commons quarter in Londonia at all. No, we don't. <laughs> wow. So it's going to be the first time. You see that place here? It's going to be filled with fairs and with, with fairs, taverns and everything. You're going to have so much fun here in the, in the plaza, people. Okay. Do, do I want to stop the super growth? Let's, let's, let me check something. Let me just experiment with something. Uh, I'm definitely changing the common quarter thing. This thing remains there, so even though we're in the super growth... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, in two turns the other one was just... Okay, let's, let's keep it that way right now. I really, I really want to try it out. Let's see if this is worth it. And I think that's gonna be it. And here in Oxenford, um, I'm gonna go for. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The stability in Oxenford is good, but I really want to go for another unit. 
and right now we can build a knight we can have a knight here but it's gonna take seven turns because we just have one scientist here what if we move that over there ah, it changes it from seven to six but do we have the time i wonder we do have an archer here and two archers down there so if we move these archers over here can we move them over there no but but i'm gonna join the other archers here and later on we're gonna move up the hill to the stronghold and these people have ah they can move again they need to occupy a good point here because i want them to be m to be mobile and able to intercept any kind of threat around the area okay i think that this is the best place to actually get for now i want them to be in my territory so as for the healing to take place mm. do i want to do I want to get this territory for Oxenoford? I, I'm really reluctant to do so because if we manage to lose this then we are pretty much done for because we're gonna be losing three territories um, hmm, hmm. Hmm. it's gonna take quite long for that to happen what about growth? Uh, hmm, hmm. I really don't want to be losing many rounds with growth plus four food per number of territories that's gonna be one two so eight right yeah let's let's try it out so ah we can buy it out with money so let's see the growth output the food output so from 35 growth to 44 so it was worth it actually it was worth it immensely right uh, okay, let's build something else now. Now that we <laughs> that we did that, we don't want to go for the repeatables right now. So let's build more archers. I think I'm kind of okay with it right now. We got an idle army. Keep it as is, and let's end our turn. I've zoomed it out so as to have a proper viewpoint and see where the enemy armies are moving so you saw that there was some sort of movement here with four units I'm willing to check it out with the knights however I have just noticed that there are three Jaguar warriors uh, attacking me on the on the side they're getting to Londonia they're gonna arrive there as pretty soon Oh, before I proceed to that, just let me show you how magnificent that is. You see that near Londonia, we are graced by Mount Vesuvius that offers a plus 5 to influence and plus 10 to stability and money as well. It belongs to us and it's nice to have it around. And on the other side, we also have, near Oxenford, we also have the Vinicunca mountain so it's a natural wonder giving us plus five influence plus 10 stability and money as well so the the actually the natural wonders do give the same um effects right okay i wonder if this is all you know a staple thing oh and we get besieged by by the aztecs so the aztecs are gonna are using the these units for their siege so they have five units right let's check they have one crossbowman and two knights and two jagger warriors we're pretty much evenly matched but i don't i'm reluctant to actually defend with just these ones here so i'm gonna i'm gonna move the oh the pikemen are also engaged in that Okay, so it's gonna be a fair fight, I wonder. Can I move my my knights rapidly? No, I can't. It's actually good noticing that there is no path from here to there, but I need to go from this province down here. Wow. Wow, quite an arduous journey, isn't it? 
Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use these knights here. So this knight and the longbowman to to attack to attack the jagger warriors. Let's see. Let's do this. So we're gonna have two fights. Oh, we are weaker overall. Because we cannot move in time, right? I wonder... Will I be able to make it against three Jagger Warriors? I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Let's retreat. Oh, not there. I really wanted to choose where to retreat. Oh, dear game. Please don't do that to me, really. Ah, oh, come on. Now I got a bit, a bit pissed off. But it's okay. Let's deal with that siege for now. So, okay. Let's perform a sword. Wait a minute. How many rounds do I need? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. We can actually buy out one archer now. One longbowman. So, this is gonna tip the scale a bit off to our side, hopefully. And let's... Let's proceed by creating more pikemen for now. I'm really reluctant to go with knights because the knights are qu need quite so many turns to to be produced. Okay, so I think th this is gonna be us, right? Yeah, sortie. Confirm battle. Cool. So we have four units and three reinforcements, if I read that correctly. Two reinforcements consisting of three units. So where can I deploy? So I can deploy... Ah, it's, it's really nice. We can only deploy in the city because we're just coming out of the city fighting them. We cannot deploy outside. I really need to... To take advantage of that tile to be honest with you I should build a, a stronghold there or something okay so 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 it's gonna be hmm. I'm I'm gonna need these pikemen anytime sooner but they're quite away for now so I'm gonna move them here and shift the position with the archers Cool. So we got archers, 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 and just the peasant. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the peasants from here. Yeah. I don't know why that is possible, and the other one, uh, the other way around wasn't, but it's okay. And deployment. Let's. Oh God, Jesus Christ. Okay, I have an idea. What if I move the archers on top of you? What if I move these archers here? And what if I move these archers here? And what if I move the pikemen? Ah, come on! Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter the gates next round. So cool. Bam! There you go. Thank you, Longbowman. Ooh, more knights. I wish I had my pipe in here. Oh god. This is what I'm gonna do just now. I'm gonna use the pikemen to attack these knights here. Perfect. Well, first of all, let's bring the, the pikemen in and try to hit the knights. Oh, I can, I can attack them. I can attack them, let's do this. Boom! Yeah, one, two, three, four spaces. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna be losing the peasants, however, we need to deal with these two now. Okay. Yeah, it, it was kinda expected that they would butcher the archers. First of all, let's deal with the knights. Let's find out. 
Is it gonna be the end? Yes, it's gonna be the end of the crossbowmen. And that's it in the end. Let's deal with that once and for all. Ah yeah, it didn't have it didn't have any meaning because the Jagger warriors are don't have an injured penalty no matter what. So, before we proceed, uh, it was a victory after all. Cool. So, before we proceed with that, we definitely need, ah, we can't have more we need to we need more population to attach new territory. Huh? Or attach new territories to increase this. Wow, wow. I really want to increase my population, but it's going to be done in five turns. Where did my population go? Ah, that was the peasant. That's... That was... Oh, wow, this is what it was. Our people, they've butchered our people. All we are left with is just soldiers. Oh no 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 we really we definitely need to make this up for Ooh, oh come on come on come on no okay do you know what this is gonna be it for now so I'm gonna we're gonna go up the hill you're gonna follow suit in the next round and t -t 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 -t, you're gonna stay there and heal yourselves can I order you to heal? Yes, I can, but we'll be spending quite a good deal of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is gonna be it. Let's end our turn and see what's gonna happen. More warriors. Oh, do you remember the archers here? We definitely need to move them back. Okay. Oh, we cannot do this as the army is retreating. What does that mean? It means that we don't have any control over their movement. Oh no, we cannot enter where we retreated from. Okay, that was a misclick. And I think it's gonna be quite vital to our defeat. Okay, the... The armies here are sieging Londonia, however, everything is good in Oxen, Oxenaford. Hmm, do we want to deal with these archers, uh, with these sp spearmen here? Can we... Okay, we need some units here so as to be able to assist us. Please join your friends down there. Finally, the archers are three now. <laughs> oh, can we actually get the help of the pikeman? Yes, please. Let's buy the pikeman out. Move down there. Okay. So, if we attack you, we're gonna get a good... Yeah, we're gonna have a good... Uh, good strength overall. Hmm. So, they con their army consists of three... Three, um, three knights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna place the spearmen here. Everyone else is gonna be coming from up here, so I want to stay there. Okay. If someone comes from here, oh, that, that's why. I'm gonna place the spearmen here. So if they move up here, we're gonna we're gonna flank them. Yeah, end our deployment. Oh they will kill the longbowmen. Wow. So it looks like the cav yeah, yeah. Cause the cavalry can move quite much. Oh, it's gonna be a slaughter fest, I tell you. They really cleave through the through the uh, longbowmen. Oh my god! 
it's gonna be quite difficult from now on. I'm really not proud when it comes to tactics, but I really thought that I had some sort of uh, some sort of plan under my sleeve. It looks like I didn't have such a good plan. Let's see how things pan out for us. I think that there was some some difference for in the elevation. I really wish that it was quite apparent from the map, from what we we saw here. I really wish that these fine details were quite uh, apparent before I decided to to do this and I did some sort of yeah I did this stupid mistake I left my archers in the open it's gonna okay that veterancy really boosted our attack yes it was okay do you know what let's go for capturing their flag getting butchered by our spearmen at least however we did lose was it three longbowmen units this is highly unacceptable and we definitely need to move the spearmen back to oxenafort to defend against the massive throngs that are bound to arrive anytime sooner so let's go for the longbowmen really okay do you know what i'm gonna buy out a longbowman here and possibly a second one, and then going for a third one. Ah, oh, that was really bad. However, let's see. You see that we are an agrarian people, and we can use the mother's milk for each of our cities to add a number of population equal to the number of territories owned by the city. Once triggered, this action will be available again after fulfilling the agrarian infinity meter. And if we do the land of plenty, this is this. It says that it is uh, not available in this build. However, we're going to be getting one people from the Khmer over to Oxenafort because we share a border. I pretty much prefer the four people extra. So it's a plus four, but was it four or what was it? Ah, for each of your cities, it 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 said plus four here. I don't know what that plus four stood for. However, I'm willing to accept that um, we got two population units equal to the territories that we had. So, uh, we are on the growth, so we are grown. yeah. Can we speak the longbowmen? No. What about money? No. What about science? Just four, right? Yeah, it's be, it might be a good thing. Cool. What about stability? Do we have everything under control? Up to, back to 68. Uh, let's see. 73. Do we really care about that much? No, it's okay. I think it's okay. So let's go back to industry. Okay. So um, once we're done with that, Let's go with the... Wasn't there some sort of a siege? Yeah, let's go with a siege. Do you see the elephant here? That elephant is gonna be our overall nightmare, really. Let's perform as... Can we hold? Yeah, I think we can. Okay, let's hold. Let's wait for those archers to arrive and help us in this time of need. Okay, so we got population, yes, we got an idle army. Oh yes, we do! Let's move these two people here, on top of here. Yeah, and we, we're desperate for these pikemen over there. Cool, so you're gonna sentry, and let's end our turn. Okay, they're boosting their... they're assisting their siege with more people. Okay, okay, okay. Pikemen, move over here. Join your brethren. And stay there. 
And... Uh, can I actually... Should I attack them with the archers? They have... What do they have? They have two swordsmen and one Danvigaja. Uh, it's a... It's a gunner unit. It can move and fire. It's really dangerous. And... We can only defeat them by fighting from an elevated position. So let's do this. Let's confirm the battle and hopefully defend our city successfully. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's move the archers here. No, no. This is our deployment zone. Yeah, because we attacked. Yeah, move the archers there. Not the pikemen, the archers. Perfect. But, okay, let's occupy this position as well. I think we're good to go. We have. Two longbowmen and three pikemen. One, two, three, and two. Yeah. And deployment. Our side is weaker overall, and we definitely need to deal with that elephant over there. With the elephant in the in the battle. This is a nice point to actually defend from, right? Yes. Okay, there is an elephant. And the Daviganja has moved up. Come on, really. Stay down there. Oh, they managed to kill them, right? It's not good that I actually that we actually get a pretty sneak peek of what's going on. But we need to hold out for 14 more turns, which seems like an endless thing to do. In fact, this is the final turn before the the entire round ends. Oh god, stay away, stay away! So it feels bad for me to admit that we might... Yeah, we faced a defeat and they are retreating, Jesus Christ. Um, that we might be losing Oxenford in the uh, on the next turn, so and we have another siege to do. So let's go on and face the siege. However, now that I think of it, I don't want to actually risk losing much because I have two archers that uh, wait to. Oh come on. Okay, so can you move over there? I don't know what's happening, so because I want the archers. Come on, really, come on. What? Okay. Keep everything as is. I really want to move these archers. What's going on? Do you see that? Okay, if we are evenly matched, then... What about the... These people here? It's so frustrating. Will I be able to use them in the battle? I think so, because this is what the white line stands for. It's the big terrain, the huge terrain that surrounds the entire city. Because if you remember, we've uh, the, the city actually consists of uh, 
two territories. No, what I'm saying is actually bullshit because this is just the city and the area around it. So let's go for a sortie. I think that the archers are gonna uh, join us. However, I'm not 100% sure that I kind of get the games, the game, games interface language. Yes, the archers are gonna join us. So we have quite many units to fight with. And the opponent has quite many units to fight us with. Two. Hmm. Okay. First of all. Oh, this is the place. Okay. Let's get up the hill. What does the opponent have again? So they have crossbowmen and pikemen. So we want ourselves... We don't have pikemen, but we do have peasants. But we don't want the peasants. Okay. First of all, let's place the the horsemen here. But the horsemen can move six. They they can basically move everywhere. These people need to stay here. The archers can get there. Because that's a stronghold and we really want them to get to the stronghold. Because this is going to increase their range a lot. And let's protect them with the cavalry here. I think we might be ready for that. I'm not 100% sure. Just hold your breath, people. Because if anything goes wrong, we'll just watch it in the first seat, first row. Okay, yay, that's such a happy happenstance, right? We do have a problem here. We cannot enter with our regiment unless we kill these people here. So I'm gonna use these people to actually block the reinforcement lines, my opponent. So this is the place where the opponents are supposed to come out of, but they cannot if I occupy that. here this is a thing that I really don't like uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure as of how to interpret the things on the map I really wish that there was some sort of you know indication that you know what here this is a fog of war is not just a grayed out thing because I'm getting surprised most of the time mm, they've got pikemen here Pikemen here, pikemen there, pikemen everywhere. Okay. I'm definitely frustrated. But okay, let's end this now. Ah, that's why this is all about. Mm, that's what it, this is all about, really. Someone was occupying the. Hmm. All the questions are regarding the UI and. And the combat interface as well. Okay, so let's say that we won. Uh, it was quite an interesting combat. But did you see that elephant over there? <laughs> oh, a second siege? You've got to be kidding me. Really? <sighs> okay, people. Oh, they cannot move because they've participated in the combat. So we got two sieges. Ah, yeah, that's because we occupied their reinforcing point. So, once again, let's deal with these intruders. But we're not going to use these archers here. Confirm the battle. Stay there. End deployment. Let's kill these crossbowmen and be done with them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if we attack... Whoa! If we attack these ones, yes please. Ah, these ones have occupied the, the, the stronghold, that's why. Let's kill the crossbowmen. 
finally. And you, knights, deal with these crossbowmen. That fortification really gives them a real, really nice bonus. And they were quite smart to have taken it. If only I was given a chance to get it first. But let the Aztecs enjoy it a bit. Besides, it's all we got left from that city of ours. Because I think we're going to be losing Oxenafort in the foreseeable future. And by foreseeable future, I mean next turn, possibly. Boom, 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 there you go. Stay away, stay away from our city, from our noble city. I don't know why you're attacking me in the first place. By the way, let it be, uh, let it be known that I really enjoy uh, the combat in <laughs> one more siege, really. Before I proceed to the siege, the siege let me tell you that I really enjoy uh, playing the combats in um, Humankind because uh, the combats are quite detailed and interesting with so many choices and everything. It definitely feels like we are fighting... Um, against the opponent by using the lay of the land wisely and I like it so much I only wish that this scenario had less combats really <laughs> okay I think this is a nice start let's try to deal with that pesky elephant we don't know where that elephant is do we I think it's over there so let's try with these horsemen here yay but I think this is not prudent no it's actually good so we definitely need some knights to deal with them and we cannot go outside so technically uh, we can technically and practically we cannot move outside of these borders because this is the siege of Londonia and we cannot use that stronghold that's quite far from the city it was quite expected okay attack them good ah which means that we might need more knights in the future how, mu how much power do the knights have 36 and how much power does the 41 Mm. Whoa. No. What about... Can I attack from here? Let me try. I think so. No, I cannot attack from here. Are you joking? That's not possible. Only from here, right? Uh, I must have done a stupid mistake then. It's okay. End round. Let's see how the elephant reacts. Keep in mind that the elephants are attack can attack and move later. Oh, they're gonna butcher my people. Hmm. Yeah, we are from the same level. I don't want to lose my peasants, so please move back. Move back and let the knights do the talking. They are knights after all. <laughs> they are supposed to be honorable and eloquent and everything goes, right? Okay, I can go around. I guess. Do I need to though? I'm gonna die if I do that. Okay. It's not my favorite cup of tea, but let's do this. Hopefully we don't get butchered much. Oh, we actually got butchered. It was bad, it was bad, I tell you. End round. 
See how how dangerous the elephant can be. They keep on attacking my peasants. They just wanna finish them. They they wanna they wanna put an end to them. Can I attack them? Is there Oh yeah, we're gonna have an advantage from there. Hopefully. Still 5 to 10. Does this count anything? So if we control the capture point, slows unit movement and restricts vision but provides a defensive bonus against missile fire. Oh no, that's the forest. Okay, let's do this for now. Do you think we might be able to kill them? Oh no god! It was just a misclick really! Oh, fuck sake. <laughs> that was a misclick I tell you! <laughs> <laughs> Developers, please ensure that there is a, an undo button for such misclicks. Because I really misclicked. And now I think that I'm gonna lose the entire battle because of that, really. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so fourteen health, right? Behind there, please. And end the round. Obviously, the elephant is gonna go away, right? And they're gonna kill our horses. Is definitely this is definitely a fucked up fight, really. I only wish I get the chance to kill that pesky elephant before the round ends. Yes, it, it looks like I'm gonna do this. 45 to 55 damage, yeah, do you know what? Okay, let's lose the veterans here. Because I don't want to lose the other veterans. Because <laughs> the, the remnants have much more health than the, the other ones. Yeah, a Pyrrhic victory for sure. Ah, uh, it definitely feels like, I tell you, it definitely feels like there needs to be some sort of undo button for th for situations such as this. It's really, it's really not. It really doesn't have any doesn't bring in any positive gameplay experience when this happens. Okay, the siege is going badly. Uh, okay, we have so many... We, we are starving in Londonia. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come we starve? And we're still starving. Why is that? Population value will decrease due to the current population. Okay. Eight extensions, one infrastructure, and yet the city is losing 184 food. Why? How? Why am I losing food? Threat of starvation. Are you joking? The stability is gonna fall to zero. <laughs> Arg! 
God. Threat of starvation still. Okay. Starvation. Okay. Threat of star. Okay, let's keep things like that. I really don't know what has happened. I really don't know why we we suffer so much starvation. I really don't know what that 184 minus of food is. I just don't know. I only wish I could fathom why this happens. Hmm. Okay. It looks as if we cannot unfuck all the things. Okay, supply... Ah! Do you know why? It must be because of the supply thing. So, we are losing food because we need... Right? Does this count as anything? I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna look look for it later. Okay, so these are in the siege and we expect more people to arrive, right? Let's see what's gonna go. Mm, our side is weaker overall. We have two peasants and two longbowmen. Let's wait for now. We can afford waiting a bit longer, but you see the all of them are gonna yeah, if we wait longer, these four units are gonna arrive anytime sooner. So I want to deal with them as soon as possible. So let's do a sortie and let's lose majestically. Let's move on top. Oh, jolly, one more elephant here. Oh, sweet, more people. This elephant is gonna is gonna ruin everything for us. They're just peasants, but see what they did to the to the trained swordsman. Did you see that? <laughs> Bang! Yes, that's these are my boys. Kill the swordsman. Okay, it's gonna come at a heavy cost, but uh, we're gonna have these archers available to inflict quite some grievous wounds to the great swordsmen of the Khmers. Kill them. I don't want the elephant to enter the city. And they've just finished off these longbowmen here. The elephant did so. It's a shame, but at least the the siege... Oh, well, the siege didn't stop. Wait a minute, right? Oh, no, we won the, the siege. Cool, so that's what... No, the siege is still on. <laughs> Get me a knight, please, really. I need the knight desperately now. Oh, and for 900, right? Six, no, still. Seven. No, 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 no. Just keep it six. It's gonna take quite long, and we don't have the the manpower to deal with everything. So, oh, so five more <laughs> units arrived to to boost their friends. And what do they consist of? Five jagger warriors. Oh, Jesus, it's quite difficult, isn't it? As if I didn't have enough problems. I'm still having a threat of starvation and I still don't know why that uh, minus 184 is all about. I wish I knew. And let's move the archers to the main unit. 
because I want to keep everything consistent. The siege is still going on, so let's press on. Yeah, let's press on and try to deal with them once and for all. It's just the, an elephant, but then again, the elephant is a pain in the ass. I... I say, I dare I say that the pele the elephant is a pain in the arse. There it is. There is a nice... What? Five to ten. Boom, shakalaka, there you go. The, this unit, the Danvi Gaja unit, is really, 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 really potent. So I don't know what the the actual thing in the actual game is gonna be. It feels as if the unit is overly powerful, and if this, well, this is the Khmer signature unit, and it's quite expected of it will is gonna be quite expected of the Khmer to. To be good at combat, I guess. I don't. I don't remember. Are they a militaristic uh, faction or not? Oops! One of our people uh, have been butchered. One of our people has been butchered. I don't know if I'm doing the correct thing. It doesn't feel that right. Let's try to defend from there. Oh, definitely not. Boom! Pip, 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 pip. Go away, go away, you veteran elephant! Five to ten, right? How much health? Twenty-five. End round. Mm, that's a nice defense. That was nice defense. Pew 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 pew. Go away. Go away. How much health do you have? Seven. My peasants are gonna finish you off. Hopefully. Just die! Die already! Just one person standing there. Yes! Finally! Oh, at a cost, but such a sweet the sweet taste of victory, really. Stay away from Oxenford. Oh god. Oh god. I need a drink right now. <laughs> oh wait, see here? A unit of five people come to join their friends. How jolly! <laughs> I wanna cry. Okay, let's move out there. At least we're gonna have a vantage point. Yes, there is that valley on the back here. Oh, see that, see that goat over there. Yeah, I think they're gonna circle the valley and come out from there. Okie dokie. Are they still supplied? No. Ah, uh, no, they are supplying now. Ah, oh, it's okay. It it makes sense. Yeah, let's spend the money to finish that commons quarter. Yay! See all these balloons here? Yeah, the commons quarter is here to stay, people. See, we also got a siege here to face. I think this is gonna be the end of both the knights and the jagger warriors, unless a peasant comes into the rescue. Yes, this is gonna be it. So the peasants are gonna come in and rescue the noble knights. Yes, that guy with a cup here did the the change.
Yay! Again, it was a Pyrrhic victory. Hello and καλώς ήρθατε to this torture. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. It looks like the enemy has run out of units to send to us. I think this might be it, people. I think that we've won, actually, the scenario, which is great. Oh, let's take advantage of the pearls over there. It sounds so nice. And um, what else? So we've got stagnation still. The it's good that the that the negative output is falling. I don't know why that happens. And the unrest, so the stability is increasing at a maximum of 45 right now. Cool. Let's end our turn. We've weathered it all, people. I'm so proud of my I'm so proud of my English nation. They've endured the big waves of the alliance of the allied Khmers and Aztecs. I'm so happy for my for for our warriors there. Okay. So should I build something? We do have a problem with money. Or uh, and science. So, do we have a nice place to place our research quarter? The game, the game suggests this place here. Whoa! Yeah, because it has a plus eleven. Why is that? Wow. Per adjacent ma maker's quarter. Uh huh. Yes, and we have one maker's quarter there. So let's go for it. I know that we are not a scientific uh, civilization. However, we really want to up our science a bit because it's not that good. But who cares? Because no opponents are on the are on site. So it feels as if everything is getting stabilized finally. Ah. Uh, music to our ears okay I think I might go for this because I really want to be done with that okay and turn oh see we've researched military architecture and let's buy out our artificial reservoirs we've got growth people everything has returned to normal I'm so happy about us. I'm so proud of what we managed to pull through. Ah, that scenario was really good. It might have been quite tiring, but in the end, it's, it, it proves to be such a nice game, really. So let's carry on by f making the final touches. And as soon as, as soon as we click that, we're done. This is it, in a nutshell. So, this is Humankind, the third scenario. It was really interesting. It was quite intense. I won't lie. I'm so happy that I managed, to, that we actually managed to weather through the storm. It actually says a lot about the game and the game's balance. And even though if sometimes you might have you might get targeted by your opponents in the future while playing the game don't fret and feel bad just brace and weather through the storm it's gonna be quite an enjoyable ride as this one was today so thank you very much for your time if you liked what you saw feel free to subscribe to the channel and if you also wish click on the bell button so as to be notified as soon as a brand new video goes online. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, I also want to thank Amplitude Studios for giving me the chance to play through the open beta. I don't know what's in store next, but I'm really looking forward to playing the entire game of Humankind. Thank you very much for your time. So see you next time.